Portal Tokens is exactly what it sounds like. It's the first crypto designed to make cyclical trading patterns. So with me is Juwan, the founder of Seasonal Tokens, to explain what it is and why did you create Seasonal Tokens? Well, I've been investing in Bitcoin for about 10 years, and Bitcoin is a very good long-term investment. But it's not an ideal investment because it has cycles in its prices. Mm -hmm. There's a four-year cycle that plays out. Uh, once every four years, the rate of production gets cut in half. Interesting. And then there's a bull market that happens after that because the market adjusts to the, de the decrease in the rate of production. And that bull market continues for about a year and a half, and then it ends with a bubble bursting. And after that, it goes into a bear market that lasts for several years. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so uh, it's a good long-term investment because it goes up more in the bull market than it goes down in the bear market. But it still goes down about 80% typically during the bear market. 80? 80%. Okay. And uh, so when you hold an investment and you know it's going to go down by 80% in the next few years, that you know that's not an ideal investment. Yeah. So uh, I was trying to find a way to get away from this bear market to uh, be able to continue investing in something like Bitcoin, but uh, not to have to suffer that. So what you can't do is get rid of the cycles from a cryptocurrency like this. But what I realized that you can do is you can have multiple cryptocurrencies and you can stagger the cycles so that when one of them is going down, the next one is going up. And that's what I did with seasonal tokens. There are four tokens, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and they go up and down like Bitcoin, but they do it uh, one after another, separated by a nine-month interval. It's a good old-fashioned hedge. It uh, sounds like, like what we've seen in financial markets for decades Absolutely. and decades. So why is it better than, uh, would you say, to like trade the seasonal tokens against each other versus a Bitcoin or even the U.S. dollar? Right. Well, if you, what you can do is you can try to trade the Bitcoin cycle. Oh. So you can trade back and forth between uh, dollars and Bitcoins. Okay. But if you want to do that, then you need to time the market. You need to know when the, when the top is, you need to know when the bottom is, and basically nobody can time the market. Nobody is actually good at that. It's a very hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the other reason is that uh, when you're trading Bitcoins for dollars, uh, there's a risk, uh, an unavoidable risk, that you're going to end up making a loss. You could end up with fewer Bitcoins or fewer dollars if you do that, if you get the timing wrong, and it's very hard to get the timing right. But if you're doing it with seasonal tokens, you can follow the rule of always trade tokens for more tokens of a different type. So you can trade three spring tokens for five summer tokens. And if you do that, then you're guaranteed that every time you trade, the total number of tokens in the investment will increase. So you can eliminate the risk of making a trading loss measured in tokens, mm -hmm. which you can't do if you're trading Bitcoins for dollars. Interesting. How does your background fit into seasonal tokens and how did you come to create this company? Well, I was investing in Bitcoin, obviously, and I've had experience with cryptocurrency development. Mm -hmm. But also, I was working in the financial sector as a quant for five years. And it was my job to identify patterns in prices and see how to trade those for profit. So what I was able to do when I was watching the Bitcoin price uh, over the course of the last 10 years was to see the patterns and to realize what the problem was and uh, what, what needed to be done about it. Yeah. So um, we, you know, it's interesting. You're called seasonal tokens, and we call this crypto winter. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so it yeah. Nuts, right. <laughs> it so um, where do you see the crypto market right now? Bitcoin. It's been a really horrible year um, uh, for all kinds of cryptos. I mean, how do you see it from a macroeconomic point? Well, I think that we're in a bear market now, and uh, it's predictable because. Uh, what happens every four years is the price of Bit or the rate of production of Bitcoin gets cut in half, and then you have the bull market and then the bear market. And in 2000, the rate of production of Bitcoin was, was cut in half. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it was predictable from then that we were going to have a bear market in 2022, 2023. And it's going to happen again four years from now. 2026 is going to be a bad year. There's going to be another crypto winter, and it's going to happen again in 2030. So uh, yeah, it, it's, it's basically inevitable that that's going to happen just because of the way that Bitcoin is produced and the yeah. way that the market reacts to this uh, shock that happens when you cut the rate of production in half. And then, so how does the seasonal tokens then fit into that, um, fit into the cycle? So, uh, well, each token is kind of like a copy of Bitcoin. So uh, it will, each token will have the same cycle. There'll, there'll be the same bull market and bear market in each individual token, but because they're staggered, that means that uh, seasonal tokens, if you're investing in seasonal tokens as a whole, you don't have to suffer because you can switch from one to the next. Mm -hmm. So that's basically uh, how it fits into the, the bear market situation that we see with Bitcoin today. Yeah. Uh, how can somebody find out more about seasonal tokens? Uh, they can go to our website. It's seasonaltokens.org. 
and uh, they can click on Discord at the top if they want to get in contact with me or with the team. Uh, they can also read our blog, so there's a lot of information there, and uh, our social media is there. They can look at our Twitter and Reddit accounts and so on. Okay, thanks so much, Ron, for coming in. Thank you. Uh -huh.